Today is all about TRX4M upgrades, and there's no shortage of parts with upgrades to boost crawling performance, increase durability, or maybe just to look really cool. So let's talk upgrades, and as we go through them, we'll be installing some of them on our truck to see them installed. There's over 600 parts in the TRX4M parts category at A-Main Hobbies, and we can't possibly cover them all. But one of the best places to start for immediate performance improvements is by adding heavy brass items down low in the truck to lower the center of gravity. Now popular are these heavy brass diff covers that you can put on the front and rear axles and they're offered in different colors and finishes. The same is true with the steering C-hubs in brass and then there's even these steering knuckles in brass to really weigh down the front. The rear axle has brass upgrades available too to help balance the weight down in the rear. Brass wheel hexes are another way to weigh down each corner and they're easy and to install probably the easiest upgrade, and some are offered in a wider offset. There's plenty of other brass items too, like the gearbox housings, there's brass wheels, and so much more. Now you don't need to get all these parts, one or two, or some combination of some brass parts will have immediate effects on the truck. Of course, if you like adding the brass, there's also these full combo packs, where it's like a set, including a lot of the major brass components for the truck, right in the package. Something else really cool are these Samic scale discs that are attached to the brass parts for the front steering knuckle and the rear axle weight. You're gonna get extra weight from the brass parts plus more scale detail and they look really cool. Now for our truck, we added the trio brass C-hubs in black as well as the knuckles, which adds a good amount of weight together. In the rear, we added the trio rear axle counterweights. Now we wanted to use the Samic scale disc front knuckle and rear axle weight, but we just couldn't get them in in time. Lastly, these are the Trio brass hexes with a 10 millimeter offset, so five millimeters per side, and that's just gonna give us a more aggressive wider stance and more stability crawling. Hexes are really great if you want to extend your width on your truck, but another way to do it is to buy these extended axle shafts that'll give you plus five millimeters overall, and they go inside the axle, and you may even be able to use extended hexes on them to really push it out far. Now the next upgrade is just ball bearings, which will help the truck's drivetrain run smoother and last longer than the bushings that the truck comes installed with. Bushings may be okay for some people, but bearings are way better in the long run. So buying an aftermarket bearing kit to put in the TRX4M is going to be a great upgrade. Although one thing to consider, many of the upgrades available for this truck will offer bearings in the package included. So depending on what upgrades you choose, you may get all the bearings you need in those upgrades and you won't need a bearing kit. Now aluminum upgrades are great for using in areas where the plastic flexes. Things like the aluminum steering link, aluminum shock towers, aluminum gearboxes, and aluminum chassis mounts can all be really great to stiffen up the platform of the vehicle, depending on what you're doing. The one highly recommended area is the aluminum servo mount because it does have a little wiggle and we can tighten that up. Aluminum axles are also really popular and they look amazing under the truck. Between Nex Racing and Trio, there's a number of different axles available and they're all just housings. So you'll need to use the parts off your old axles or buy new parts. Trio also makes these portal axles which will provide more ground clearance. They look sick and it's a full set including everything. Now for our truck, we picked up the Samix aluminum diff covers in red. The original chrome covers look pretty cool but I just like these better. Changing these covers to brass is something we can always do down the road. To tighten up the steering, we've added the Trio aluminum steering link and then the Ya yeah Racing aluminum servo mount, both parts that are also available in brass, and they add a lot of rigidity to the steering system. Upgrading the servo would be the next move here, and we're ready when the time comes. Now for servos, the Ya yeah Racing and the EcoPower 640T are both great Metal Gear servos that are also waterproof. The Reefs 179 is also a great high-powered servo, and here it is mounted into an employee's TRX4M, and the spacing between the horn here and the link is a little off when you get it installed, and you have to do some custom spacing, but it does fit, just don't get it wet. Drivetrain parts are pretty popular to upgrade, and we can upgrade the parts to make the drivetrain beefier, or we can just change the gearing inside the truck to affect its speed. Installing the blue high-speed gear set adds more top speed but takes away torque. Install the low-range gear set and you'll have more low-end torque but less top speed. 
For just crawling, the low range gear sets the way to go, but if you need more speed, you know what to do. For the drivetrain parts, upgrading the ring and pinion in the axle is pretty dang common, and both Traxxas and Triel offer metal ring and pinion sets. Triel also offers a set with a 16% overdrive, and it's one of the few upgrades to offer overdrive. Upgraded drive axles can also beef up the drivetrain, and these in use with the upgraded ring and pinion might be good upgrades for you to install the next time you open up the axles. Upgrading the center drive line is also a good one for increased durability, and metal lines put more weight down low in the truck. But you have to watch out, because just like with the high trail suspension links, the center drive shafts are longer on high trails too, and standard length drive shafts may not fit. Now for electronics, the Torque Master motor upgrade is going to be the simplest and least expensive drop-in fit method. Full brushless systems like this Furitech starter combo, this Stinger combo, or this Torpedo combo are all going to provide expert level throttle response and programmability, but using a brushless system also requires an extra receiver and matching transmitter to be used because you're gonna have to remove the Traxxas receiver when you replace the speed controller. This is definitely a more involved and more expensive upgrade, but with some big benefits. Shocks. TRX-4M shock upgrades fall into two different categories, complete and assembled and not. ST Racing, Samix, and Traxxas all make upgraded aluminum shock parts that you add to your current shocks with the big benefit being an aluminum shock body and threaded spring collar for tuning. Now with the complete and fully assembled shocks, they're usually a little more expensive, but worth it for their convenience because they're ready to go and Hot Racing offers aluminum shocks as does Proline, Triel, and Nex Racing. Nex Racing actually offers shocks in a longer 56 millimeter length, so it's three millimeters more, and that's what we picked up for our truck. The complete aluminum reservoir shocks in red, and they're threaded, smooth, and look awesome. Tires and wheels are next, and there's a lot of options. Typically, a reusable beadlock wheel is a great upgrade, but the wheel weight is also worth considering because heavy beadlock wheels can lower a truck's center of gravity, and that's why there's so many wheels made using brass. What's the best wheel for your truck, though, is gonna be up to you, your goals, and your preferences. Whatever that decision, using some sort of foam insert inside is recommended because the stock tires don't include them. Now with the tire options, the TRX-4M is compatible with any of the one inch scale tires and there's a lot to choose from, whether it's officially licensed scale tires, mud boggers, and so much more. One thing to keep in mind when shopping tires is their outer diameter measurement, where a standard TRX-4M tire diameter is around 2.2 inches, but the high trail additions are oversized at 2.4. So an oversized tire will look tall against the standard TRX-4M, but that same tire looks normal height against the high trail. So it's important to just double check that tire diameter to make sure it's what you want. Now we know our high trail needs tall tires to look right, and we're using these mud slinger tires from RC Four Wheel Drive with the foam inserts mounted on these Raceline Monster wheels. And you've probably seen us use this combo before because I just love it, the detail, the aggressiveness. I think they're just awesome. Now for scale accessories. These are upgrades you'd add to the body to enhance the realism. Scale by Chris offers accessories made specifically for the TRX-4M. These accessories are made to be added to a roof rack. You can put them in your truck bed or wherever else you think would work. Other than that though, Traxxas offers the optional bumper set for the Bronco trucks and that adds a replica winch and push bar. Now for our truck, we picked up the Scale by Chris keg set and stuck them down with some double-sided tape. Now LED lighting can be a great way to add more realism to the truck. And Traxxas offers complete light kits made specifically for the Defender body style and the Bronco, but the high trail additions already include them. Guys, there's no right or wrong way to upgrade a truck. You just have fun with it. Nothing's permanent and you can always redo things. Guys, I'm Brat from A Main Hobbies. Go check out everything we talked about with our links down below. And if you want more RC videos, check these out.